Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the box we're making today. The following video was filmed live, so feel free to fast forward, pause it, or rewind. And if you need anything, be sure to let me know. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Um, the project that I'm making uh, tonight is a remake of a box I shared probably about a month ago, and everybody's been asking for it. Uh, I never posted this um this version. So I'm going to try to find that video and tag it to the end of today. So it's the same box, but we're going to use different um, paper and ink. Okay. So I know I've gotten tons of emails about this project that I never, I never posted on my blog. Sorry about that. It just seems like uh, everything is so crazy right now. Okay. So we are using three we're, well, we're kind of sort of using three sets. Not really. Um, we're using two, technically. Um, but I'm going to show you another option, just in case you don't like the one that I show you. Because we all have different tastes. And if you don't have these stamp sets, we have others that you can also use. So this project, this box that I'm sharing, it's so versatile. Um, so Woven Heirlooms is the one that I used on the original, which I just love. Um, and then Butterfly Wishes is another one we're going to use tonight with this box. Uh, and Colorful Seasons is one that we've had in our catalog for a few years now. It is retiring. You can see I've got my little washi tape on there. But if you have this one, uh, I love this greeting. May all your tomorrows be as happy as today. Although I'm not real sure everybody's extremely happy today. We're all still in lockdown, right? Um, anyway, okay. So let's get started. Uh, your supplies are pretty basic. <laughs> I say this every time. It's amazing what we can do with just this little bit of stuff, right? Okay, so the designer series paper measures eight and a half by 11. We've got some very vanilla for our stamping and then we've got mint macaron, okay? I'm gonna get my Simply Scored scoring tool and get my stylist of my take your pick tool i'm going to place this on the portrait side first which is the eight and a half inch side and i'm going to score it at one and a half and then i'm going to turn it and score it again at one and a half then i'm going to place it on the landscape side which is the 11 inch side and I'm gonna score it at half an inch and four and three quarters. I'm gonna turn it and repeat that same thing. So one half, sorry, I know the glare, my lights, and then four and three quarters. <clears throat> Thank you, they're getting a little old looking, but um, as I, expected my nail and hair appointment did I do that right yeah I did it's just faint um our shelter in place lockdown whatever you want to call it got extended here in Kansas so my nail appointment got canceled my hair appointment got canceled uh we're still on lockdown <laughs> um so I'll be doing my nails myself again for another two more weeks yeah, I know I'm not the only state that uh, that got extended. And to be honest, it's probably a good thing since um, we have not seen a decline in, in the uh, numbers. So that's kind of what has been asked. Okay, so I'm folding on all the score lines and burnishing with my bone folder. And I apologize for the noise upstairs. The whole fam's up there. They just got done eating. Okay, so this is how it's going to look right now. I need my scissors. <laughs> okay, so these two score lines in the middle there, you're going to cut those. Uh, Kim, they're actually Color Street. I have a couple customers that, 
yeah, there are a couple of my customers that actually sell it. So it's kind of like Stampin' Up. It's a home-based business. Um, yeah. Okay, so. And I was reading comments. Sorry, I hesitated there for a second. So now what I'm going to do is remove. that. Now that's how it looks. And only on one end, I'm going to cut right there. And then this side here. Okay, there we go. Now, these two tabs are gonna fold in to that back side like that, okay? So we'll do that first. And I'm just gonna take my liquid glue. Um, so, I got my scissors on Amazon, and I do have the link that I can give you afterwards. So I'm just gonna hold this in place for just a second. Kim, I can give you a link too if you don't if you don't have one. Both of these girls are fabulous. They sent me a sample. And the really cool thing about it is that you can actually use uh, one of our punches and you can punch out uh, little image, uh, little pieces. This pack, though, has the plaid in it. I didn't have to do anything special. I know, we're talking about nails. Hey, we're women, right? We can talk about paper crafting and fingernails at the same time. Okay. Yes, Adrian, I'll give you the link. Um, oh, and I just remembered something. So before we continue, we need to glue down this edge. I got ahead of myself. You know what I just remembered, too? This, um, this paper, because it's coated see how it's got that shiny surface you may actually want to use your tear and tape to hold this down oh paper this is the modern is that what it's called modern mosaic it's in our current annual catalog and of course all of our paper is retiring so yeah okay that's good on that one now i gotta glue this one down Yes, as demonstrators, we get to place a pre-order tomorrow. Uh, we don't know yet what we can pre-order, but we get to pre-order a few, a few items. Okay, so now this is going to fold just like that. So now I am going to use my tear and tape for these because I, well, although the liquid glue does work really well, but I don't want to have to hold it closed for that long. So let me get my tear and tape. I agree, Heather. Um, the the catalog, sometimes it's just really hard. You just really got to see the paper in person, I think. It's the same thing with this paper. Like, I seriously um, wasn't a fan of it until I got it in my possession. And then I'm like, okay, I actually like that paper. It's really pretty. And yes, I will be doing my paper shares. Um, once we're allowed, we're actually not allowed to do that yet. Um, Yes, we're not allowed to take pre-orders just yet because the catalog doesn't go live until um, June 3rd. It seems like that's forever away, but it actually it isn't. Okay. Yes, all the designer series paper is retiring in the current uh, annual catalog. Sadly, yes, all of them. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the backing of the tear and tape. Hmm, 
Is this gonna fit? It looks like that little that little edge right there is needs a little a trim. You can trim those tabs. I got distracted and didn't. Uh, Deborah, I know we were all hoping we would get the catalog, but you know, I swear this 2020 is just gonna get marked as one of the not normal years for all of us. Okay, isn't that pretty? Now, let's stamp. We are using three different inks. Soft suede, terracotta tile, and crushed curry. And all three of those are in here. You could use mint macaron, but we're gonna be using the cardstock of that, so I decided not to use the ink. So I'm gonna take the soft suede when I pulled this color out today, I was like, man, I have not used this color in forever. Ah, oh, I smeared it. Hold on. Let me do that again. I should have known. Okay, much better. Now, we'll close that up. And we're going to stamp. Well, let's open both of these crushed curry first this is this butterfly is from um <laughs> butterfly wishes sorry bella's up there scratching herself <laughs> it was a funny sound i know y'all had to have heard it right i'm going to take my simply chamois and uh remove Hi, Ruru. Now I'm going to stamp it in um, terracotta tile. What you doing, girl? Y'all should see her. She looks like a, a ragamuffin or the tramp on um, Lady and the Tramp or I don't know. Poor thing. David had to shave her again this weekend and she... <laughs> okay, so I'm cutting out the butterfly. Both butterflies, I should say. Uh-oh. I don't think I left myself room there. Let's see. Did I? Oh, just barely. Okay, so we're going to get the... Uh... Kathy, yes, I did cut my uh, Simply Chamois in quarters, actually. So I cut it in half and then cut it in half. And cut them in half. So I cut them in quarters. Because my hands, I don't know. I'm over 50. So it's much ma more manageable for me to cut them in quarter pieces. Okay. So I'm going to move everything over. And then we will cut these out. And did I lose my butterflies? There's one. There's the other. Okay. This is the stitched labels dies and they are retiring um, sadly yes they are retiring in fact I looked at the new catalog tonight just to confirm that they are retiring and they are I know some of the other ones are just getting a different item number but not this one okay I feel bad because I just technically finally started using it a few months ago it's like I forgot I, I had it okay Bella, what are you doing? She likes eating paper. What are you doing? You want a piece of paper? Here, there you go. Now, get everything back in here. Okay. We're going to take our, take your pick tool and get these little teeny tiny pieces out of here.
Okay. Now I'm gonna turn this over and add some liquid glue. Uh, the house is coming along okay. I'm super, super, super stressed. Um, it's just not easy doing all of this um, in lockdown. Everything is like 100 times harder. Um, yeah, so I'd like to phone a friend to help me and on all accounts, you know, I can't. People can't go anywhere. I can't get help. So I'm all alone. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have another appointment tomorrow uh, to finalize uh, the flooring, the tile, um, the bathroom stuff. Yeah, I'm super stressed about it because, you know, once you decide, um, it's done. Okay, so there's that butterfly. Yeah, I keep saying, I want to phone a friend. I need someone to come help me get my house ready to sell. And the other one, um, my friend Paula did let me go over and visit with her the other day. We stayed we stayed our six foot apart. And yeah, we stayed our six foot apart. Um, now, I'm going to take... Oh, I love these. These are the Flower Faceted Gems. And they, too, are retiring. I almost said expiring. Isn't that so pretty? Okay. Okay, so now we've got our six. These are our cellophane bags that we have um, in our catalog. Uh, what can I put in there? Oh, I know. I can put what I put in the old one. Yeah, like a little... Um, a cute little pair of scissors and a little grid ruler. So I'm going to take this mint macaron... What's it called? Textile ribbon. Okay, so Pam, you and I are in the same boat. Yeah, we're, I, we're going to a smaller house too. And I'm not real sure, I'm not real happy with that decision now. I was really happy with it, you know, months ago when we made the decision, but not now. <laughs> not now. Um, oh, well. Hey, I'm not sick. So if you're not sick, if you didn't get the virus, you're blessed, right? Okay, so there's that part. Anything you want to put in here, the bag measures, well, the box measures uh, five and a half inches wide and one and a half inches deep. So, yeah. Okay, anyway, let's add our thing here. So I'm going to turn it over and put some dimensionals on the back. You know, I was going to use clear plastic tubs, but you know, all the stores are closed where you buy them at. <laughs> you know, I feel <laughs> it ain't fair. Um, okay, so here's the original one. Sorry, a few months ago or whenever it was. Here's the one today. Now, let me show you. If you're not a fan of the woven heirlooms, if you're not a fan of this font, of this one, then you can always use the Colorful Seasons. So, Here's another option. Now, this is the back of the box because I decorated the front of the box the way we made it. But then here's the back in case you want to use this stamp set. Yeah, so you can put cards in here. Uh, but I will tell you that it's five and a half by four and a quarter is the exact size of this. And this one looks a little bigger, but it's not. It's just poofier because of, I got some tear and tape in this one. And this one I put scissors and a, and a ruler for the quilters in your life. Or people that are making a face mask, right? <laughs> uh, paper shares, I will be announcing them in May. So late May, mid-May. And then 
I can order them on June 3rd. So yes, I will be announcing them in prox approximately two weeks. Yeah. And it'll be just like last year and the year before. Uh, where did I get my quilters ruler? This one, um, you know, I, uh, I participate in that, um, that, um, subscription box from the fat quarter shop every month. Is it the sew sampler? I can't remember the name of it. Um, but I get the best little goodies, you know, like the little uh, tape measure, and I get all kinds of really... I got these scissors, too, in that little subscription box. So it's kind of like Paper Pumpkin, except that it's for people that sew. Yeah, that was a great question. Talk about a lane swerve, right? Yeah, so sew sampler, and I get it every month. I think this this might actually be... Yeah, I've, I've tore apart this box. <laughs> This is not actually an actual kit. I already took the stuff out. Thank y'all so much. Um, we are using the Woven Threads Designer Series paper. Um, when it came time to do the project for tonight, I didn't really know what in the world to make. I really wanted to use the Dino Roar, but I know that a lot of y'all don't have kids or don't have grandkids. So I've already made a project this week using the Dino Roar paper. So tonight we're using the woven threads. I maybe have used it once or twice. I was kind of uh, steering clear of this pack of paper because it uses purple posy. Anyway, enough about that. Anyway, this pack of paper is free during celebration. We have a couple more days or you can still purchase it. So this piece measures eight and a half by 11. And then Rococo <laughs> Rose, I'm sorry, I have to laugh because I never really know if I'm saying it right. A scrap for die cutting. Seaside Spray, also a scrap for die cutting. And um, a scrap of white, also for die cutting. So we're using two sets of dies tonight. We're using the Stitch, shape, stitch Shapes which I use on almost every project. And then we're using the stitched labels. Now this one, I, I think that some of you guys might be like me and you probably saw it in the catalog because it has all of these plus these two. And it's kind of a sleeper one, I think. I didn't, I didn't get it initially, I don't think. Or maybe I did and it just got lost or I don't, I don't know, I, I've not used it that much. But then I'm like, oh my gosh, look at all these wonderful pieces. So this is probably the only one that I might not actually use. Um, but I like this one. Look at the, these cute littles. And then the circle. This is a smaller stitch circle than what we have with our other circles. So if you're looking for a little one, there's that. Then there's this one and this one. Okay, I'm rattling. I'll get this out of the way now. I just wanted y'all to see that just in case. I think this might be one of those that maybe the catalog doesn't do it justice. Or maybe it's just me. And we are using this stamp set. Um, wishing you a day of love and joy. I figured this is a good set right now. Um, thinking of you. Um, prayers and heartfelt sympathy are with you and your family. Anyway, this is. I just thought this was a really, a really sentimental stamp set to use right now during all the craziness in this world. Okay, so we're going to get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. And this is a really easy project, so nothing hard tonight. Okay, I'm going to place it on the landscape side, which is the 11-inch side. And I am going to score it at a half an inch and four and three quarters. Now I'm going to turn it on the other side of the 11 inch side and repeat that. So I'm going to score it at half an inch and four and three quarters. Now on the portrait side, I'm going to score it at one and a half on both sides. So I'm turning it around and score it again at one and a half. I just figured this project out like literally two hours ago. <laughs> 
well, I was, in my defense, I, I was making masks. I uh, have some people that um, can't get their hands on masks here locally. And so um, they're bringing me some elastic tomorrow. So I've got the fabric sewn. Um, not the fabric sewn, the fabric cut. And I'm just waiting on more elastic. It just makes me so angry that people are overcharging now for elastic for Pete's sakes. I've said this a hundred times already. This whole world that we're in right now, it's bringing out the worst in some people and the best in others. Okay, so I'm burnishing all those score lines with my bone folder. Okay, so here's how it looks so far, right? Oh, I missed one. I chose this paper not only because it's free during celebration, but because of the ribbon. <laughs> so you guys will see that. Uh, oh, I need my cart. I have my little rolling cart of tools and stuff. Okay. So I'm going to cut... I got a little aggressive with my score in there. You have to be careful not to cut your score lines. Or, well, I actually wanted to cut it right, but what if it had been here in the middle is what I mean. Okay, so that's gonna get folded in. And then we want to remove, see this half inch strip here? So we have a half inch over here and we have a half inch over here. You only want to trim these bits on um, one side, okay? Okay. Now what I'm going to do is put adhesive on those strips. I have uh, something funny to share with y'all every day. So this is allergy season and I've had allergies, seasonal allergies ever since I got pregnant with Chase. Um, so this time of year, every year is usually really difficult for me. I take an allergy pill, but every day I wake up with a sore throat, <laughs> and every day my sister and I, we text each, whoo, almost, oh, goodness gracious, I better stop talking. I'm going to mess up. Anyway, every day we text each other and we say, she either says I have a headache and I say I have a sore throat, or we, we switch roles and she has a sore throat and I have a headache, but it goes away by the time we drink our coffee usually. <laughs> we have this little image uh, that has this little dog and it says is that you Rona I'm sorry but you have to find the humor in all this otherwise we all be crying all day long right okay so now what we're gonna do is put adhesive on these tabs and we're gonna fold this in and fold that and we are going to have our little gift box here isn't that nice it's a nice size okay so you're gonna remember this is the front because we didn't trim those pieces off. So you're gonna put your tab, you're gonna put adhesive on your tabs and you're gonna attach them to the back panel, to the back. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and I'm just gonna use my liquid glue, why not? I could get my tear and tape out, but we're on track. We're not running out of time here. I'm just gonna hold that for a second. And then now this one. Yeah, we even had hail last night. Talk about a lane swerve. But yeah, we had hail last night. Brooke was like, can I pull the car? Can I pull my car in the garage? I'm like, heck no, it's full of groceries. Not groceries, but you know, provisions. Okay, so see that little strip? That's because I didn't trim my tab. 
if you trim your tabs, you won't have that, but you don't always have to do that. Okay, so now this is gonna fold over just like that and just like that. So I'm gonna do one side at a time. And I'm gonna hold it. Oh, show the picture. You know, I'll see when we get done. What, who was that, Becky? Becky, when we get done, I'll see if I can pull it up on my text messages on my um, on my iPad because I'm filming on my phone, so I can't show you on my phone. And I'm afraid to post it on Facebook for fear of the backlash. But not that this is not on Facebook, it is. But not everyone will watch these really long videos, and not everyone has the patient to, patience to listen to all the chatter. You know what I mean? It's a little bit safer. Very rarely do I get flamed after the fact on a live video. Okay, look at there. Cute, right? I might would add a little bit of extra glue right there, but I'm not going to right now. I'm thinking I'm going to put face mask in there. We'll, we'll, we'll look at it later. Let's go ahead and finish this, though. Okay. So we are going to emboss. So we're going to take our embossing buddy and rub it across the Seaside Spray cardstock. And I need my Versamark. invisible ink okay now I'm just gonna apply the white embossing powder I used this not that long ago so I actually still had it in the tray I had not put it up so yay okay now the heat tool sometimes this jacks with the video so if it does just hang tight Okay, so I'll tell y'all how I came about embossing this. It's because when I was looking at this project and I'm like, I don't really want to stamp Rococo Rose on white. And I didn't want to stamp Seaside Spray on white because I kind of felt like it would just be like invisible, like they're both light colors. So I'm like, oh, I can emboss. Yay. Okay, so um, I'm going to get the stitched circle and cut that out. I'm going to use the stitched label and cut this out. And then we're going to cut out a heart with the Whisper White. So I'm going to move everything over and get the big shot. I'll let her entertain you while I grab it really quick. It's my llama. Yes, I'm an adult and I have stuffed animals. <laughs> um... Let's see. Our, I have that here because we have a uh, we had a bear hunt for the little kids in the neighborhood the last two days, and so um, I was going to tell y'all about Miss Bella. This morning she's not a barker much, and she's certainly not a growler. But this morning I kept hearing this noise, and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's an animal in our freezer room or sump pump room, like, I'm like, there's some kind of noise, and it wasn't in that room, it was actually upstairs, Brooke was growling, not Brooke, Bella, goodness gracious, Brooke, <laughs> um, she was growling at the llama in the window, and she kept growling, like, it was like a, it was like, grrr. like, it wasn't a real growl, it was like a little growl, and she just kept doing it, and I was like, what in the world is going on, I went running up there, 
And if y'all are friends with me on Facebook, I actually posted it on my story. Um, <laughs> she was she wanted that llama out of the window. I didn't give it to her though. It's still up there. It makes me happy looking at it up there. So yeah, the bear, the bunny, and the llama. They're still in my window, even though the the bear hunt's done. Okay, so now we're gonna get all the little pokies out of this. I need my take your pick tool. Not all these come out, so be careful when you're doing this because I was trying to poke some of them out. And I'm like, wait, wait a second, that don't come out. Some of them stay in there. Yeah, a couple more. Okay, that's how it looks. Okay, this is gonna get added with liquid glue. Ideally, you'd center it on here. And this I'm going to add with a little mini dimensional. What row? Where are they? See, isn't that cute? And then I'm going to take the regular dimensionals. And you don't have to do that. You could just attach it with a glue dot. But hey, this is paper pumpkin dimensionals. <laughs> They're a little bit thicker than our regular ones. Okay, so I'm going to take the backing off. Oh, I forgot my bag. No, I didn't. I have my bag here. Where to put it? And I have it full of stuff too. Oh, there it is. Okay, so our six by eight cellophane bags. Look, I have the llama. I've showed y'all this before. And then I'm gonna take the, um, so there's some little clips in here, mini clover clips, some liquid glue, llama love. I'm gonna show you something else you can put in here. And I'm going to take the Seaside Spray, this beautiful ribbon, and tie a bow at the top. You can fill this up with candy. I know that I have some dear ladies that can't have candy and they don't want to give candy because they don't buy candy. So I've been trying to find other things. So if you wanted to give me this one, I would love it. So... Okay, so it fits in there, just like that. Now, it is kind of making it a little poofy in the back side, but you just have to reposition it, move it around. Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot the, I forgot the, we have to have an embellishment, right? So we need a couple um, of these pearls. Let me hold my breath to pick one up. I don't have any trouble adding these things when no one's with me. When I'm live, I become fumble fingers. This is going to go on that. <laughs> okay, now it's done. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so here's the one I made a couple hours ago. 